Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 paper. Here we're looking at question 10. So a circle C has equation x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 8y minus 8 equals 0. Find the coordinates of the centre C and the exact radius of C. So what we're looking to do in part A is to do a bit of double completing the square with the x variable and the y variable. So let's give that a go. So what I'm now going to do is um, complete the square with the x variable, so it's going to be x minus 2 squared minus 4. And then with the y variable, y squared and plus 8y, that will give us y plus 4 squared minus 16. And then we've got the minus 8 equals 0, so let's now move all three of those separate numbers onto the other side. So it's going to be x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 24, 28. So 28 is going to go on the other side. So therefore the centre is going to be 2 minus 4 with a radius of 2 root 7. That's root 28, square root of the 28 on the right hand side there. Moving on to part B, the straight line with equation x equals k where x equal, where constant is a tangent to c, find the possible values of k. And you could do this by simultaneous equations, or you could do it by visualizing the diagram. The line x equals k will just be a horizontal, sorry, a vertical line. So if I put the center at 2 minus 4, with a radius of 2 root 7, now how long is 2 root 7? Well, it's... Uh, 5.29, so that's going to cross over this line, it's going to cross over this line. Um, 2 squared plus 4 squared is 20, so it, will, so it will look a bit like this. So that's my circle, the centre is going to be 2 minus 4, and the radius is going to be 2 root 7. And the line x equals k is going to look like this. Let's go in at a tangent and go in at a tangent. So we want to find the possible values for k. So in that case, k is just going to be equal 2 minus 2 root 7 for this tangent here. And then for the other tangent, x equals 2 plus 2 root 7 for this tangent over here. And how do I know that? Well, what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to work out what the x value is. If my x value here is 2, then I have to go backwards by 2 root 7, and it's going to be 2 minus 2 root 7. And if I'm looking to find the x coordinate of this one at the top here, it's going to be starting at 2 and then going up by 2 root 7. So there we are, quick way of working out the possible values of k there. And that's five marks for question 10 there. Let's now move on to question 11.